From couture to cuisine, it doesn't take an afternoon along the Champs-Elysees to see that living French means living well and living thin. So what is it about the French diet that may be helping them stay far slimmer than Americans? And if you think they're cutting out wine and cheese, au contraire. For the French, even dieting is done in style. The French are relentlessly chic. Even their tourist attractions are chic. Their couture is très chic and their cuisine Ooh la la. But despite their love affair with creamy cheese and fine wine and pastries, French women are still skinnier than Americans. Sad but true. French obesity rates have doubled in the past 15 years, but they're still three times lower than ours. And this new book, The Parisian Diet, reveals all the French secrets to staying slim. There's so many food possibilities now. Rachel Yohai is an American, eating like a Frenchman. But yeah, it wasn't always sure. that way. I've done Nutrisystem, Slim Fast, Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, Diet Center, um, Metafast. But you successfully lost weight on those diets. Yeah, I mean, over the years, I've lost 20 pounds, you know, put back 25, lost 30 pounds, put back 35. So what makes this diet different? Because the main thrust of this diet is enjoying your food and really paying attention. But it's working. She says she's lost 11 pounds in five weeks. Everything fits better. Everything looks better, you know, which is really important to me. Portion control has been the secret to Rachel's success. But this is an American portion. I have right. to whittle it down now. To a French size. To a French size. And when we sat down for lunch, that single serving filled a family size bowl. That's a super sized salad. Parisian people, they enjoy every bite uh, they take. You know, and this is one of the uh, secret key of the French food. Dr. Jean-Michel Cohen is a nutrition expert and mastermind behind the French Guide to Skinny Eating. He's also a famous TV talk show host in France. Dr. Cohen says it's not so much a diet, but a new attitude towards food. He showed me la différence at his favorite French restaurant in New York City. Oh, thank you. So French of you. So this is the difference between an American-sized portion and a French. Thank you, Pascal. Or I should say, merci beaucoup. The first way is that when they eat, they are taught very young that bigger is better. And in Paris, for example, we prefer quality and this is the, the, the enjoying aspect of the food. His first tip, smaller portions mean fewer calories and nothing is forbidden, even pasta. The French pasta had a tiny amount of sauce, but lots of flavor from fresh herbs and salty olives. The American dish was drenched in creamy sauce and it's three times the size. Tip two, savor your food and avoid mindless eating. I have trouble with this one. Half the time, I'm grabbing a quick lunch at my desk. And it's cold, it's not even good. No wonder I don't remember what I had for lunch. Dr. Cohen says those are classic American mistakes. Oh my goodness. Instead, he says we need to enjoy the entire experience and linger over a meal. But you know that you need 10 minutes to realize if your hunger is cut or not. But when you are served with a plate like that, you cannot consider it because you have your plate and you need to clean your plate. His third tip, never deprive yourself. He says it's better to have a smaller portion of something flavorful rather than having a boring salad that gives you no pleasure at all. There's nothing more American than fast food, but Dr. Cohen says no food, no matter how rich, is ever totally forbidden. This seems like diet sacrilege, but you actually think a Big Mac is okay for a meal. Yeah, but the problem is in reality that you accompany this with French fries and a soda. But uh, you have to take your time and you have to enjoy it. But just remember, savor the burger. But try a salad on the side, not fries, and certainly not every day. But honestly, you must be the only nutritionist and diet expert who would say a Big Mac is good for lunch. I know it, but I, I know perfectly the value of calories of a Big Mac. It's about 500 calories per piece. Just ditch the fries. Yeah, even okay. if they are French. Dr. Cohen says the French tend to cook more as well, which contributes to healthier eating. But who has time to go home and cook? Turns out Americans work 10% longer every week than the French, who average 38 hours a week. Americans, 42. Perhaps that's why Americans rely more on prepackaged, processed food. 
It's no wonder we're a nation that gobbles down lunch and picks up fast food for the family. It's quite good. <laughs> Maybe we could all use a little more joie de vivre.